Uh, school of hell? Where the Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a school of hell. Uh... I don't know if I want to... Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm too curious. I have to... I have to know. Because there's an updraft here. Oh, this goes to a higher part. The valve? Okay. Hello? Okay, so I needed to do that. Good to know. I... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is, uh... Oh, fuck. I don't like this. Can we still go in these? Okay, we can. Oh, hello. Lever. That is not what I thought that was. Oh, God. Each class... This is like number, this is number worlds thing. Holy shit. No wonder this place is so fucking crazy. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh God. Can't actually get up there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Toilet key? So does each classroom connect to this same room layout? Maybe it does. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I need to get over there. Hello. This is the lever. What is this gonna do? Now I can get up there, but what's over here? Death, okay. It was just so dark. Good to know. <laughs> so is there... Is that all there is? Can we get up to the higher levels? With the umbrella? No, it's blocked off. Okay. Well, actually, there is a lever up there. And a texture that was invisible for some reason. <laughs> I love hearing the Number Worlds theme because, like, it's so unsettlingly creepy. And it's also, the like, one of the first things I ever heard in the original Yumi Nikki because it was the first world I went to. Wait. up here another block I wish I could see it's so dark and I just realized those are these are all lamps too so this is like a reference to the lamp world as well uh oh I, I, I kind of put them on top of each other by accident all right but who knows maybe that's what I'm supposed to do Okay, nice. Oh wait, it's blocked off now. Yeah, be blocked no longer. Why would I have to redo that? That's weird. But whatever. Wait, what? Uh, 
Oh, there we go. She just didn't grab on the first time. Assuming I go out here, but is there anything? No. Okay. So bizarre. What a cool place. Uh, let me guess. This opens this, which will be a shortcut. Right? Okay, cool. Nice. Nice. I like this place so far. I think this is one of my favorite places in this game. Very unsettling. But it's so cool. Ooh, nice. Wasn't even close. Oh my god, okay. Wait, do we get the lamp? Nice. Cool. That lights up fucking ass. <laughs> that is so ass. Okay, that's good enough. I want to go that way and see if there is anything, but we'll keep going for now. What's over here? More concept art. All right, we're gonna push this and then go into that room. All right, nice. I don't know where that ended up, but we'll find out in a second. <laughs> That's locked. Never mind. We'll find out right now. <laughs> Unless we just... Do I want to do that? I mean, I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Okay, so it doesn't want me to push it this way. So what's over here? Man, now I want to go back up there and see if there's, like, anything special over there. I can't get back up there from here, can I? Nope. He does not grab on. Alright. Let's push this to our destination and we'll get back up there and see if we can get over to the other window or whatever that is. What was that? Don't know what that was. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Is there anything over there? No. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's not, like, shattered. No, okay. It's worth a shot. What is that noise? <laughs> okay. What did that do for me? I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, let's look around with our newly acquired lamp that has the wrong button. The, the umbrella is like painted on here, so I wonder... Is this supposed to do anything? I say painted, it's put on there by chalk. Also, those blocks reset. Like, why would I bring this block all the way down here just to fill up this little gap? Oh, wait, 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 I just remembered. I just thought of something. Okay. Let's go back up and make another little blood jelly slime thing. Because now, since that's filling the gap, maybe this is what we need to do in order to get past the barrier of shells and things. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Your sacrifice is needed. Yeah, okay. All right, nice. No fall damage. Totally didn't break my legs or anything. Let's go. <laughs> what a fascinating area. Because, like, in this one school section, which I don't think there was a school in the original that I remember, they fit 
the number world theme, which I guess also Lamp World also had, but they put Lamp World in the back. Like, I don't know. That's just really cool to me. I really like that. Oh, hello, handprint. Yeah. Uh, what did that do? That's a giant ass zipper. Wait, is this gonna take me to QQ? I think that's what his name was. I don't like those sound effects. Uh... QQ? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> that was really uncomfortable. What the hell? So, okay, for those of you who don't know any of the original theories for Yumi Nikki, uh, trigger warning, by the way, um, for what I'm about to say, because th this is just a theory that uh, the community has made up back in the original game because the zipper tile is exactly what it is. It's just a zipper, but it takes you to that stairway where I'm pretty sure it's called QQ. I don't remember, but it's the same way to get there as it is in this game. You just go through a zipper tile. I mean, you don't go through a school, but you go through a zipper tile. There's a stairway and QQ is there. And... He doesn't really do anything except for rub the handrail in the original. And the whole theory was that considering you have to go through a zipper to get to him, and he is a phallic looking object creature, um, people theorize that the main character was. I don't want to say it, but you, you, you can fill in the blanks, right? And considering what we just saw, I feel like that's almost like confirmation, almost. Not necessarily confirmation, but like something along those lines happened. But not just to us, but to that other character. I don't remember what her name is, the other girl. Because she wasn't even involved in with QQ in the original. She was like in her own separate area, which I don't even think I met her in my playthrough but um after i beat my um after i went through my playthrough and stuff i did go through and look at like all the special events to see what i missed and when i saw that there's her there's like one other girl too but that's that is dark if that is implying what i think it's implying that's a lot to take in uh, okay. We're gonna keep going, because I feel like we're very close to the end. <sighs> so... We have... If there's six effects, I have them all. I don't know what... The hat and scarf is supposed to let me do. But. This door. Oh, this door isn't chained up anymore. 
Where the fuck does this take me? Okay. What? Did I just... Am I dumb? Did I go... Wait. Okay, I was like, why won't it let me go back inside? Am I dumb? Or did I go through... No, it was a different door, right? It was the red door that was locked up. Oh. Okay. Is this supposed to be what... Oh, fuck this. Fuck this. Okay. Is this supposed to be what her apartment's supposed to be like? Oh. I guess let's go. I guess. And as soon as I started walking and all the, like, I didn't know it was the lights turning off, even though sound, the sound effect was very clear. I was like, I don't know what the fuck that is. Creep me out more than it should. These... Mushrooms? Okay. Jeez. Okay. Locked. Can I try out all these doors? Okay. Where the hell am I? If I knew I could check every door, I should have been checking every door. Bro, I can't see shit. Okay. Just a desk with... Rusty key. So, I'm assuming that's for the elevator back in... Or the door above the elevator back in the one area. So, I'm assuming this door was locked. <gasps> what? Oh, okay. Fucking Slenderman looking ass. Okay. Uh, hello? Oh god. Can I go in here? No? Okay. Uh, rusty key? I- I still have a key from, um... That's right. Is it still following me? Oh my god, that's a yes. Holy shit. Alright. This is a bit intense. Uh, oh, fuck. This is not what I was expecting out of this area. I just have to be careful. Here we go. But yeah, this is not what I was expecting out of this area. Okay. Oh my god. What the heck is that? Okay. What the fuck is going on? Oh, I just got I got caught on something. God damn it. Don't start me all the way back there. Bro, you gotta be joking. Okay. Like, I tried to double jump and then I think I hit something in the storm. Okay. Okay. I've seen that place before. That was in the alleyway area. Where the hell am I going? I'm going somewhere. I can't see shit, but we're going. Oh, we're back at the Nexus? Uh, achievement interferes.
Wait, so we're awake? to put that over your bed, silly. <laughs> she actually in the real world and she's going outside? Wow, okay. Cool. I really like that. But there's still areas we didn't explore. <laughs> well, okay, I guess that is Yumi Nikki Dream Diary. Um, I'm probably going to stop the episode here. And then we'll pick up with um, the stuff that we missed in the next one. So I, I definitely want to get an ex I would definitely want to get everything in the game and explore everywhere. But um thanks for playing. So well since I beat the game. Okay. So there's a lot of things I liked in this game. The environments were really cool. The soundtrack is beautiful. Beautiful soundtrack. Um like monster designs are cool except for like the very first like shadow demon kind of thing that was kind of like eh but um i enjoyed exploring everything i enjoyed all the puzzles the pyramid puzzle with all the glyphs i still don't necessarily understand but it's whatever i'm just dumb anyway but there are definitely things that i don't like about the game that i can see why people don't like this game as a whole number one it's nothing like the original which is fine i don't expect it to be because i went into this knowing that or at least with the premonition that has a completely different game, and it is, so I think it should be judged completely separate from the original. You can still draw similarities here and there, which, I mean, that's fine, but um, platforming without the umbrella, I've already said this before, but it's ass. Block World is the biggest example of that. Block World is the biggest platforming area, because like platforming in the docks, you're just like jumping up on one ledge, pushing a box, and it's like, okay, you know, Block World is the main platforming area where without the umbrella, it just doesn't feel good to play at all. So I wish they would have um, ironed out and smoothed out how platforming is without the umbrella, because you can tell that a lot of the jumps in this game were definitely like, oh, they'll get the umbrella at some point. It'll be fine. And like, it was fine. It was a lot more fun with the umbrella because <laughs> you get a double jump, you get to glide. It's a lot easier to grab onto things, but with that, it was just no block 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 world was just ass without without the umbrella. So that that's something I didn't like. Um, there were some things in the game that were you could definitely tell you were supposed to be at least a little spooked and running away. Like the first alleyway chase scene with the shadow demon chasing me, and then the horde of eyeballs that came. Um. I feel like that was a very just poorly executed uh, chase sequence just because like, oh, look, there's a shadow demon run away. It's like, well, I'm not really scared of this. I mean, there's a lot of chase scenes where it's like you're not necessarily scared, but it uh, how do I word this? How do I how do I how do I formulate words? <laughs> A chase scene loses its impact when the player isn't afraid of what happens when they get caught, right? It's like, especially in the alleyway chase scene, I mean, until the eyeballs that came, the eyeballs were the creepiest part, but it's like, ooh, a shadow demon's coming down the alleyway, it just kind of looks a little goofy, you know, and it's also like slow moving, ooh, I'm gonna get you. It's just, I feel like that wasn't executed in the best 
way possible. Like, that's just one little nitpick I have. I feel like they could have put a little bit more love into her animations. The fact that, um, this is a completely tiny nitpick. I'm not detracting this from, like, the game at all, but it's just, like, a really tiny nitpick is, like, her animations could have been a lot smoother. Especially with, like, walking. That was, like, something I noticed immediately when I played through the intro sequence of the game. Is when... You know, whenever you stop or you like you start to move, it's just a very it's a jerk, like she jerks around kind of stuff. Um So I feel like that could have been tuned up a, l a little bit, just putting a little bit more love into the animations, but I understand. Overall, I honestly think this is a good game. Um I don't like that most of the Nexus doors are because what is it? Because like the sewers is almost like a mini nexus where like each ladder takes you to a different spot but it's like i want to say three of the doors that isn't the sewer door mind you take you to a spot that the sewers would have led you so while in the original all the nexus doors could technically lead you to those same doors you had to go through like four to five different sub areas to get there whereas in this it was like one or two so it just felt kind of weird how the Nexus doors were so closely, more closely connected than I thought they would be. Which was just kind of disappointing, but I mean, it is what it is. Like, for example, the mall. There's a Nexus door that goes to the mall, right? I should have honestly just gone through to see where it puts me. In, fa in fact, let me, let me let me go look. Let me go look where it puts me. Yeah, we've gone through 100% of the dreams. Yeah, we're definitely going to 100% this, and I'll pick this up in the next thing. But, um... It's like, if this, if the Nexus door in the mall just takes me to the same point in the mall that I've already been to through the door that I get to through the sewers, it's like, what's the point, right? What's the point of making a Nexus door at the mall if I can just get there through the sewers by one ladder, right? That's something I didn't necessarily, I don't necessarily like. So what, so before I talk out of my ass anymore, let's go, let's go see if that's actually what it is, the mall. Okay, now I'm assuming it does because I had the effect of this area before I even went through this door. Yeah, see, it just brings you here. And you go through this. So you have one area, if you want to consider this an area, and then this takes you to the sewers. It's like, why? You know, I just feel like that's like a miss missed opportunity to add something else for that door like there could have been more maybe they ran out of time I don't know what their development schedule or like what it all looked like kind of thing but I feel like that was a huge missed opportunity I know I've been talking a lot about like the negatives they're mainly just like little nitpicks the very last sequence I did like that one was okay because there was a lot of like crazy stuff happening it was like oh my god um that is Yumi Nikki Dream Diary I hope you enjoy it honestly I really like the game if I were to be biased, I'd probably give this like a 7, just because I really like Yumi Nikki and I really love this world and everything about it. But the game itself is like a 5 or a 6, I would say, personally. Like, there's so much missed potential here, there's so much more that could have been done with it. But yeah, that's Yumi Nikki Dream Diary, I hope you enjoyed. We're definitely going to play more because I definitely want to get all the collectibles. So please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, do whatever, and I will see you guys next time.